welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is an experimental video. We're going to play around with a very cool artistic experimental way of making screens with the exposure unit and direct liquid emulsions, but we're not going to use a film positive today. Okay, so we're going to play around and have some fun. Okay, so, but Please remember, I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com online, and I have a screen printing supply store right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So check out my websites for the address and the hours of operation. So let's take a look at some items that you might use to do this, and um, it'll make more sense as we go along, but check, check out these little items that I have that I'm actually going to use on the exposure unit with a screen to burn a screen. These are just for you. As you can see, I have some different items here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use found objects and uh, different flat objects to use in place of the film positive on the exposure unit. Okay, and the flowers are fresh, so they're soft. It's very experimental. And um, I've got some confetti there from a previous video that will work pretty cool, I think. And we're going to actually use these in place of a film positive on the exposure unit. So let's take a look at what we're going to do on the exposure unit before we try to burn some screens here. Okay, check it out. I just scattered some of the confetti on the glass of the exposure unit. So you can get the idea of what we're going to do here, right? I'm going to take a screen and just place it on top of that and then expose it and wash it out. And we're going to try a couple different items. We're going to try the confetti. We'll try some of those stickers. I'm going to see how I can get them without sticking to the glass or the screen. And uh, then we're going to try the flowers and compress them with the vacuum and everything and just see kind of what happens just for fun. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to do here with the screen. I'll get the darkroom all set up and we'll get started. Okay, so you can see here all I did was is I took the little bag of confetti and I, I spread it out and I scattered it about a little bit, placed, you know, you can place them around. This is a fun experimental process to do with kids, you know, because you can use all kinds of found objects as long as they're flat or relatively flat and not sharp, of course, right? Because you don't want to cut, if you're using a vacuum top, you don't want to cut your blanket and you don't want to damage a screen. Okay, so now we're just going to take this screen and put it on the exposure unit and we're going to expose it. Okay, so let's see what happens. Right, so for this one, I'm just going to stick the stickers on the glass and then because they're not that sticky and I can get them off with a little razor blade. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of these down here you can make all kinds of patterns you can do whatever you want I'm just demonstrating the process so I'm not really being terribly creative and these butterfly stickers I got are a little bit transparent there's some line work but they have some transparency, so we'll have to see how those work. All right, that should be good. We'll try a couple of these just to see what happens. There's a little line work in them, so there, we might get something. Okay, the stickers I got are really junk. I can barely get them off. Oh, okay, so only one butterfly so far. <laughs> I am having troubles getting them off. Okay, well, I guess that's it for this one. Hold on, here's another one. Okay, I'll try to get a couple more. Okay, these, these butterfly ones were junk. All right, forget about those. <laughs> okay, the butterfly stickers just weren't peeling off really. So I got two of them, we'll see how they expose what happens, all right? 
Okay, so let's expose this one and see what, what we have. So for this last one, we have the flowers. And the reason why I wanted to try flowers is because you could actually use leaves, um, you know, twigs, all kinds of leaves or dried botanicals, okay? Could be very cool. So because these are soft, we have no um, thorns. I wouldn't use roses or anything, of course. <laughs> okay, and uh, some of the some of the light may go through the flower petals. I don't even know. So this is completely experimental. And we're just gonna, you know, try to do a little flower print here. And because it's three dimensional and it's not gonna flatten out all that well, we'll get varying results. Okay, so that might be good enough. And let's just try it, who knows. Uh, but like I said, this for botanicals, the dried flowers, pressed flowers, anything that's dried flat or pressed flat would work really good for this. So uh, experiment with different kinds of botanicals and especially if you lived in areas where you have fall seasons with trees and leaves falling and stuff, I think the leaves would be a wonderful thing to experiment with. So let's try this out and just see what happens. I, don't, I have no idea how this is going to vacuum or anything. So we're going to just place this right about here. And I'll smush it a little bit ahead of time. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. I probably could have centered it a little bit better maybe, but we're winging it. All right, so let's wash out these three screens. I put them in a garbage bag so that we could keep making video. So, I'm not sure exactly which one is which, but we will find out as they develop, right? It's kind of cool to see, you know, how each one comes out. It's, it's a surprise in every screen. It's like a Cracker Jack box. Okay, so that one kind of came out pretty cool. It's interesting. That one could be neat. Let's, let's do the last one, the flowers, and see what happens. All right, so that one actually worked pretty good. Not bad at all. All right, so check it out. The screens came out pretty cool for the experimentation. The stickers of the skulls worked very well. You can kind of see those, right? Hope I'm not too forward of the mic for you guys for the audio, but all right, so the stickers work good. The butterfly ones were way too transparent. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that they were on a white backing. So the butterfly ones would have been cool because they had some intricate line work, but it was too transparent, so they cured. All right, but the skull stickers worked pretty cool. The Probably one of the most interesting ones for me is the botanical one, the flowers. Now, this screen didn't really come out all that well because the flowers that I used were, were real fresh flowers that were three-dimensional. So it didn't, you know, you can't get the detail and the sharp edges that you want like that really. But you can see the principle of the botanical specimen. Okay, it's kind of cool. So if you live, especially live, you live in an area where you have all four seasons and in the fall time, you can collect leaves and all kinds of different sizes and shapes of leaves. Or if you press flowers or other botanical specimens, even, who knows, even pressed uh, butterflies and things like that. All those kinds of weird things that people press and make flat would be a lot of fun to experiment with. So the botanical specimens, I think you could have a lot of fun with. Um, also, keep in mind things like lace. Um, you know, you can experiment all kinds of things you can use to, to see what happens, all right? Um, let's see, so the confetti came out pretty good. I think we're gonna do a little test print with this one just for yahoos, okay? So the confetti one came out really cool. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. 
okay? And um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. And I think the key tips are the flatter the objects are, the better they're gonna work. The crisper, you know, the more detail, the easier it'll wash out, stuff like that. So, uh, and obviously the more opaque, it has to block the light completely for you to get a really good result. All right, so let's have a little fun here. I have the confetti screen up in here because I think it's the one that came out the best today. And because it's confetti, I did uh, a split fountain or a blend and we've got red, you know, yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, and it's basically red, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, and I blended it a couple times. I have some tape down there and up at the top just to, uh, because it was, you know, the whole thing went from screen to screen and we don't need that. So let's just, uh, let's print this little test shirt for fun. And demonstrate how, we can be very creative with screen printing, even when you don't have all the professional tools, right? All right, let's see what that looks like. And there you go! Voila! Partay, my man! Hey, my brother! It is time to partay! Okay, there's a little close-up look for you. It's pretty cool. That one, that one was fun, and actually turned out to be a pretty cool t-shirt design too. You know, you could actually use that uh, as a pattern for fabrics or posters or layering and posters or even a t-shirt. So that one, that one was a fun one. Put on your party t-shirt because it's time to party! Yeah! All right, so that party shirt was so out of control I had to take it off right away because otherwise I would never finish the end portion of this video and I would just partay. So, um, that's it for today. I think uh, you can see it's pretty cool. You know, to be able to even make a t-shirt just with some found objects that you have around the house, whether they be uh, paper or botanical, pressed botanicals or uh, you know, all kinds of different types of uh, reversed kind of stenciling. Instead of uh, using a negative stencil, you could actually use all kinds of positive found objects or letters, text, you know, stickers. You saw, you know, I think you got the gist of it today. Basically, anything that's flat, you know, the flatter it is, the better it will work. And the more opaque it is, the more it can block the light the better that this little uh, creative experimental process will work. Okay, so I hope that was fun for you all. It was a lot of fun for me to do today. today. Uh, it took like, took a few hours to do this video, but it was a lot of fun and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. So uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, Rate thumbs up and comment when you can. And remember that I sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catsfitscreenprintsupply.com online. And we have a storefront, a public storefront in Phoenix, Arizona, which is open Monday through Friday and Saturdays. Check out my websites for more information about the public storefront and when you can come and have a visit with me. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you see, Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.